All right, if you're putting your grill to good use this weekend, we have some great tips for the perfect burger. Smith's chef Jex, Jeff Jackson shows us how. Hello everyone, I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Fourth of July is right around the corner and today I'm going to give you, I'm out here in my backyard, I'm going to give you some tips on burger making. I know all of you have probably made burgers before. I'm just going to offer a few little tips that might make it just a little bit better. Just really simple things. For starters, 80-20 um, beef. Now what that means is 80% uh, meat to 30 or 20% fat. Fat's important in when you're cooking burgers because you need that moisture to, to keep your burgers from, from going dry. And I find that 80-20 works best. And at Smith's, they have these really cool options for you at 80-20. They have them comes in these tubes like this. Really great to buy. And then all summer long, you can always find these 10 for $10. These are 80-20 patties that are already made up for you. Perfect for grilling seasons. So go find those in your meat department at your local Smith's. Okay, patty making. If you're not going to go that route, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. These are awesome because this is one pound. And normal burger is going to be a quarter pound. So let me show you how I, I go ahead and cut that. Um, since it's uh, one pound, I just go in half, and that makes half pounds. And then I go half of that, and that gives me a quarter pound patty, which is perfect here. And so what I do for patty making is I'll just go ahead and make it in my hand like this. And then an important thing, when you, if you've ever done burgers on the grill before, if you notice that they, they kind of bubble up like a balloon, to kind of avoid that from happening, just take your thumb and press right in the middle, just like so. And then that will make it, it, it won't prevent it from completely doing that, but it'll kind of minimize it a little bit. Okay, so I've got that ready. Seasoning your burger. Don't season the patty until it's made into patties. And go ahead and use kosher salt and pepper. That's all you really need. Um, season it liberally. So I've got kosher salt, and then I've got pepper I'll put on there. And then that just goes right on a grill. I've got a flat top grill here. Same principle if you've got just a normal everyday grill. Um, now, an important thing to do with burgers is to let it sit and get that nice crust that you get. If you flip it too often, you're not going to form that as, as well. So if you just let it sit for like three or four minutes, it'll build that nice crust, which, which is really delicious on a burger. Um, okay, the next thing is going to be cheese. So uh, make sure to put that cheese on there right after you flip it. If you do that, it's going to get nice and melted, which is a good thing for these burgers because nobody likes cold cheese on their burgers. Done this is another another thing. If you've got a thermometer like this, go ahead and use that. Some people tend to try to do it with just their sense of touch. If you can do that, you're a better chef than I am. I like to go ahead and use a thermometer to, to tell when my burger's done. About 135 to 145 for like a medium burger. If you like to go medium or all the way to well, go to about 160. Okay, so here on my grill, I've I've uh, got my burger bun all toasted up and ready to go. I like to go ahead and throw some mayonnaise on there. Now burgers, you guys, you can put whatever you want. There's no rules when it comes to toppings. So I got a little bit of mayonnaise. Let's go tomato and lettuce. There's my burger. Look at how good that looks. And then we'll squeeze a little ketchup on there. Happy 4th of July coming up, guys. Enjoy your holiday. Be safe. And we will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Looks good. Smith's Food and Drug Stores have more than 30 locations in the Las Vegas Valley. For more information, you can visit smithsfoodanddrug.com.